We are in the, uh, the post days of uh, Virginia Tech and Columbine. These are all historic, uh, tragic events in our nation's history that should <clears throat> motivate us to exercise leadership, vigilance, and collaboration to protect our communities. And even a community like Milburn is not uh, immune from the possibility of an act of violence. We have schools here, we have businesses here, we have government here. Any community in this nation uh, can be affected by violence. And community leaders with school officials, with law enforcement, with first responders, all must make sure that we have appropriate crisis management plans, that we have drills, that we have training in our schools, that our teachers, our administrators, our counselors in our schools right here in Milburn are trained and empowered to respond and have proper intervention to warning signs of uh, an act of violence. There are domestic violence uh, issues that spill over into the workplace. It's happened in public schools, it's happened in private schools, it can happen in Milburn, New Jersey, as it happened in Ohio recently, where a fifth grade teacher was stabbed by her estranged husband in front of her fifth grade class. So this is a, a culture of violence. It's happening throughout our nation, coast to coast. And uh, Milburn, as with any community in the nation, must step up and review its uh, training for our, our schools, review its crisis management plans, review its, uh, its the drills, tabletop uh, drills, uh, evaluations of drills in our schools, whether they be lockdowns, evacuations. Uh, we must be prepared, and, and Milburn uh, is as vulnerable as any community in the nation.